Yes, people, welcome back to the Graph Kings podcast. We're back in Moomoo's, Kent's hottest nightclub. Got a special guest with us today, someone that you boys back at home might know. So, Lily Phillips. Hello. Hi, Lily. Hi. Well, how are you doing? You all right? I'm well. This is like a great start to a pool now. <laughs> Four guys, one girl. Can't wait. <laughs> Please don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good night. It is going to be a good night. Um, for all of those back home who don't know who you are, why don't you give a brief introduction for you, of yourself? So... I'm Lily Phillips. I'm 22. I'm just a little online slut. Um, and yeah, I've done it for Thank about you. three or so years now. Started from a young age, you know. I don't know if she was describing the boys there. No, <laughs> herself. I'm not sure what she was talking about. No, that's true. So I've, I've, I'm choosing what way I need to take this pod, where I should take it professional. Nah, you can't be professional. Yeah. Be, be yourself. Be a degenerate. Be, be yourself. Okay, be yourself. So you've been uh, no, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. So you've been doing OnlyFans for all three years. OnlyFans is that what you call it? OnlyFans, yeah. Online yeah. slut. Online, online slut. <laughs> <You want me> to... <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. So you've been an online yeah. slut for three years, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. What, what what was you doing before you was a slut? Uh, no, I've done like every job I... underneath the sun. Worked at Tesco's. I worked been, at Tesco. Really? Yeah. Stocking shelves. Been a cleaner. Now nice. I do that, but just like fake it. Okay. Um, done like waitressing, everything really. Right, okay. And what, what? how did you spiral into this? Oh, well, I was just, I'm not going to lie. I was already just in real life, just being a slut. So I thought I may as well make a bit of money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'll get paid for it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I was sending out nudes. I thought, God, I could be charging a fiver for this. <laughs> Less than that. I really like, appreciate you your honesty. Yeah, same. <laughs> Do you not care about the repercussions going to come later on in life because of it? Oh, no. I, you know what? I've always known from a young age that I wanted to do it. Like, even from like... 15, oh, wow. 14, 15, like I remember just being like really obsessed with like glamour models and stuff like that. And I just thought it was going to be a route I was going to go down anyway. Obviously you weren't exposed to the likes of OnlyFans and stuff back then. Yeah. So, uh, how, what route were you going to take? Yeah, it was going to be like glamour modeling. I tried um, a bit of, what was it called? Like camming, stuff like that. And like sugar baby years, you know, dabbled in like other kind of sex work. Oh, okay. And then obviously like OnlyFans became known. I thought, no, this is great. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, do you, do you have a good family home? Like, or family yeah, life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really close to my family. And they're all cool with it? Yeah, parents are still together. Just got like one older brother. It's a very like, we lived in like such a small like village. It's just very uh, pitch perfect. How did I take it when you first dropped it though? Like when you said, mom, dad, I want to be an online whore. Well, you know what? I, you, I didn't quite put it <laughs> like that. I went, That's another term. Oh, yeah, like I'm Potatoes, just like potatoes. doing some photos, like, Bikini yeah. stuff, underwear, do nothing know, more. Do they know to the extent of what you know? No, they know. I, I think they know. And I think they've heard it and seen it. Oh, wow. <laughs> has, has anyone ever sent content into the family group? Or like, has anyone received anything? Because I know a few people that yeah. that has happened to. No, it actually hasn't. But um, recently I did have a conversation with my dad and he just said his friends had mentioned a thing or two. Oh, so wow. I do wonder what that is. And how was that conversation exactly? <laughs> like when he's, when he's telling you like, Lily, this is what Well, I'm sat saying. in the car in the back seat, just going really red, just praying and hoping that they haven't seen videos. I just hope they it like, <laughs> hoping have. it's like a, a photo here or that. As long as they're paying though, it's all right, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> business is business. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. You know your dad's mates are bashing around that. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. 100%. Hi, uncle. Oh. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, 5.99, subscribe. Is that, is that how cheap it is, yeah? Yeah, I think it's 4 99 I'm not really oh, cheap. It, it's generally, you can't really get it any cheaper. I think there's a there's a limit on how low you can go. And mine's pretty, you know, it's bang for your book. What type of content Literally. are we talking though? Because I know everyone's got different, different forms of it. Yeah, I do everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Everything and everyone. Everything and everyone. <laughs> Is there like POV stuff on there? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how do you like kind of suss out who to do it with? Oh, well, I go, you look fit. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> did did you literally just use blah, 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 I, that's the whole point of it that I really enjoy that it's just shagging people that you find fit and you know, I was going to shag anyway so I may as well do it for a bit of cash do they get, yeah fair play do they get like a good comms out of it or they just, oh, have, no. the, they uh, just have the privilege of just having a little pop exactly that fair enough do you know I'd actually get well offended if someone's like oh 50% puff 
<laughs> you get to shag me. That's <laughs> 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 I love that the brutal honesty is unbelievable. Literally. I love I, it. I didn't think. Uh, well, I didn't really do much research into you. So I didn't know how open you was. What? How are you so confident with it? I don't get it. Oh, yeah, where I does just, that come from? Where yeah, does that confidence no, come I've from? I've just always been really confident, like as a kid. Um, and I've really been like um, sex, like obsessed, like um, even from like a really young age, like really sexually open. And I think my parents were quite like sexually open. So like, I just don't find it like embarrassing or anything like that. It's just sex, isn't it? Everyone has it. So you don't care about body count? No, no. Who cares about that? Life's too short. Do you know your body count? Can't count that high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're laughing. <laughs> Go on, then. Does anyone else know their numbers? Uh, Roughly. I'm not getting into that. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> Unlike you, Lily, I leave some things to the... Uh, the imagination. <laughs> exactly that, yeah. I don't want to expose all my secrets. Do you not care, do you not care about that? that like, your, so, your whole life's on display? No, to be... The like only sexual thing... sexual life, because obviously we're now moving into the realms of the podcast, so our whole life's eventually going to be on display, but we, we like to try and keep some stuff private. Mm -hmm. You obviously don't give a no, yeah. I think more more personal stuff, I'd rather keep personal stuff like uh, private than actual like sex stuff. <coughs> like, I don't know, I find that more intimate than like sex. I don't oh, know. Okay, yeah, fair. Okay. What's that? Like, sorry, go on. What were you for? I was going to say, what's like the worst backlash you've received off the back of like doing OF? I just, I think all the messages, like, I think I went on a run yesterday, I posted a story about it and someone just comment, like, replied to the story saying, hope you fall on your flat chest. <laughs> <laughs> just like... The ice layer to people. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, was, it was probably <laughs> it was him on a burner account. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big possibility. A big possibility. What about, what about the dating world though? Like, I oh. take it, you don't want a fella then, I yeah. take it. And that's the thing, like... Or not yet, or like, where, where is not, that in your not mind? Not yet. I'm not too bothered about like having a girlfriend or a boyfriend at the minute. Um, you swing both ways, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. But... Um, Have you always been like that? No, no, I, I don't get me wrong. Like, I want to get married, the poor bastard, whoever gets married to me. But, like, there'll, there'll come a day where, like, someone accepts it. Like, there's so many people in this world. Do you reckon there's a man that's going to take you on? You'd think, you'd hope so. Fair enough. <laughs> there's that many people. Some people are into, like, um, hot wife and, like, cooks and stuff like that. I'm sure someone will actually, like, like if, find it hot. If a man eventually does take you on, you're probably going to be the person in the relationship that wears the trousers. You know what though? Like in bed though, I don't like being like dominant. You like being submissive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, when it comes to like, uh, sorry, my esteemed colleague. Is... <laughs> 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 I hate you too. I'm not seeing opposite to anyone. Yeah, no, no. I hate it. I hate it. Do, do, do you guys like? Are you guys top or bottom? <clears throat> what? <No. laughs> That's that's a that's a that's a gay term. The sorry. gay, oh, sorry, the gay you're all use. We'll be trouble. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> good good band. No, are you like? Um... Yeah, I'm dominant. Yeah, We're all dominant. Oh yeah. uh, really? In in, in every. <laughs> you. No, I just had a flashback from it. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 what, what right? The weekend in London. A weekend in London after. Uh, good weekend. After sushi samba. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I thought so. Funny that, isn't it? Do you guys come to London often? Yeah, we're in London this weekend as well. You should visit Chelsea. Heard it's really nice. Well, there. we might need somewhere to stay. So, <laughs> so, uh, she can put us up for the night. I haven't got a spare bed, but you know, I have. You know, I've got room in my bed. I know, but there's really quite a few. <laughs> the more, the merrier. God, I don't like the way this is going. <laughs> <laughs> You know. So you actually don't. You, so where I was going with that question previously was sorry. No, that's cool. I, I like the I like digressing into other stuff. It's, that's what this pod's about. So I don't think a real man would take you on. Well, as long as he's got a cock, then like... this is what I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> so the man that you do get with, yeah. I reckon you're going to be the dominant one in the relationship. Maybe not in the bed. Oh, really? Yeah, probably. Because, like, I don't think. I, I, I would well, it depends. Would you? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Let's rephrase that a little bit. So, I think we're trying to like, would you openly admit your body count to your man if he asked you? No. <laughs> I'm, trust me, I'm sure she has a rough idea. She's not a stupid girl. Um. No. I will no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Right. Okay. <laughs> fine. 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 What type of bloke do you want, though? That to end up with. Yeah. Honestly, just anyone who I get on with, like, any girl or guy that I get on with, well, like that's all that matters for me. Like it's the connection stuff, like that, and obviously, like good sex is very important. Mm. Um, but just anyone I get on with, I'm not too bothered about like looks. Obviously, like you've got to find them attractive, but like I have kind of a different type where it's just like I find more personality fit. Do you have a certain type of guy that you are 
you feel as though you're more attracted to? No, I've been with every type of guy. So like, it's not really. <laughs> Just anyone. Not too bothered about like looks or anything like that. Well, he's got to be like, he's got to have aspirations. He's got to have some, some like, charisma. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Personality is so important. So he's got to be, I want him to be ambitious. Not even like has to earn a lot, but just ambitious, like passionate about something. Um, definitely confident, funny. And you just, you know, you have that kind of like click where you but just the, go on But where like. I'm going with this is like, if a guy has grown his status and has grown to a point where, for instance, he's in a high-end job in a top 5% or mm. 1%, He's good looking, tall, handsome, all of these charismatic things. Do you reckon he, if he has options of different types of women, do you think he would be with someone like yourself or would he go for someone who's a bit more safer that's not been in that type of industry? No, I think it depends. I've gone out with people though that are like very well earning themselves, the bankers and things like that. Yeah, but the, the thing is most would women they can wife you? attain a- uh, Yeah, no, can, she said can, it there, yeah. Would, she, would, they, would they wife you, yeah. Yeah, like most, we'll see. most we'll women see. can attract a would guy. You give it, would you give it up for someone, Lily? Would you like if someone said like, look, Oh no, no. You wouldn't give up that you wouldn't what, give up like, to do. Time. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. I've had it before where like I've been with a boyfriend and we both like really loved each other and he was like, oh, I just can't deal with it though. And I was like, Yeah, so yeah. Would You're... you want them involved would you want your partner to be like involved in what no. you do? I think they need their own job, they need their own ambitions. I don't want them bloody piggybacking off me. You know what I mean? No, 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 not necessarily that. Like he's got his own job and stuff, but like yeah. if you're doing boy girl content, would you yeah. want it to be him? Yeah, he you don't want an open relationship. Yeah. Um, no, I think an open relationship sounds about right. No, oh, really, you yeah, want that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For him as well. Yeah, don't, it doesn't bother me like him sleeping around. I think, especially for guys, like, um, sex seems very emotionless to like most guys. True. Mm -hmm. And that they can just kind of have sex, and it it doesn't really matter to them. Yeah. And so as long as he doesn't fall in love with another girl, I'm happy for him to do what he wants. Sure. And together as a couple as well. No, you yeah. can't sometimes control that, right? Yeah, and I know that's the thing. That's the thing that'd be a bit scary, like if he would fall in love with someone. But as long as he just like shags him once, nuts and fucks off. Was he, what would you want him to tell you? You know what? Yeah, I think it's kind of hot. So if he went on a night and go, look, I'll smash this lovely bird last <laughs> yeah, night. I'd be jealous. I <laughs> won't join in. Oh, well, you're fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rate that honesty so much. <laughs> I think you're going to grow out of this stage. Mm. Yeah, really? eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be in well, How old are you guys? How old do we look? Right, as all, all our ages. Right. I'm going to go, you all seem like friends from school or something like that. So I'm going to say around like, you're around the same age of like 25. Oh, wow. Oh, I'll you take that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 28. I'm 32. Oh, really? Yeah. 28. 27. Oh, how did you all eat? For us a long time. In the same that is bird. a long story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Couldn't yeah, possible. yeah. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. Uh, me and him went to school to get together. Uh, best mates since school. Born the same day, same hospital. Impressive. And cool, right? Yeah. Well done, me Mom. and Mark knew each other through the likes of social media from my like, 016 times, over 15 times. We've actually only known each other collectively six months. Oh, wow. You guys seem like you have a good dynamic. We're yeah, like best mates is. now. Mm. Yeah. How did you become so close? The just the physically, <laughs> uh, yeah, but no, just a, it just <clears throat> I think we only had, we've had a few of these conversations, but um, yeah, I mean, I was only saying the other day with someone that uh, she said to me about us boys, and I was like, she, she said to me, she's like, I bet you can't imagine your life without them boys now. I was like, yeah, like I see these boys every single week, two or three times a week, yeah, um, crazy, isn't it? and we speak and every single day, yeah, all day, every day, from from, from 6 a.m. 6 a.m. <laughs> to 1 a.m. So I'm like a boys group chat. It's, yeah. it's constantly, I mean, Gracie's, we're, even with Gracie, it's all doing constant in, in ours. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, I suppose it just comes from feeling of like, similar to what you're saying just now in terms of how you feel with somebody. It's just the vibe that you have with people. Ever since the first time us four boys met, it's just been, yeah, it just, it just felt right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. no, definitely. It's been like that ever since. It has been, yeah. yeah. So that leads back to my other question. We're 28 and when I was 20, between the ages of 18 and 22, I'd say I was a right little shit. Really fucking around. And I look back at myself. 18 to when? Oh, you pray. <laughs> 18 to about 22. Do you know what? My relationship actually matured me. So I look back at, I look back at where I had my most growth and like maturity. And that was because I was in a relationship. Yeah. But looking back pre-relationship, I was a cocky, I'm still a bit cocky now, but I mean, I, mean, I was a mouthy little shit. And I always, I look back and cringe at myself then. I feel like you potentially might have that stage. I think guys though, like they mature so much less. Yes, like, I agree. I'm not gonna lie, I usually date up because the guys in my dating pool is just it's like, yeah. oh, so, so. How old is twats. that, Lily? Like, not, not that old, like just. Our age. 
Yeah, yeah, Fine. roundabout, roundabout. Just someone who's a little bit more mature. Obviously, like I live on my own now. I've lived on my own for nearly two years. And so, I don't know, I just, I feel a lot more mature and stuff like that. And I've done OnlyFans now for so long that it's like, I have my own like business and my own like work stuff. And so it's just like, I don't think I could date like a little boy who fucks around. Yeah, sure. Like that. No, really that's understandable. People your age, <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. Would you care if you got with a guy that was uh, earning less than you? Oh, that doesn't bother me. I don't care what people earn. I've been out with... The the only problem is, is that like sometimes when you go out, then they expect you to pay for stuff. Mm -hmm. They expect you to pay for stuff? Yeah, yeah. Like oh, when you go for meals and stuff like that. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they kind of drop that though? Well, it's like... Oh, you can get this one. I don't know. Just really? like no. I used to go up with this guy. He used to go to union, so it would always be like the conversation would come back to, "Well, you earn so much more than me," and so like, oh, you know, in it, yeah, yeah. you're a fucking minge, mate. Yeah, that's you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're a minge. Don't date, mate. So yeah. now someone yeah. who can like hold their own. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. I really good. I really need to ask you something, man. And just fucking went and so said that. Because I thought to myself, "What's Sim? Where, where's um... too busy distracted by my tits?" Yeah. <laughs> what Where? <tits? laughs> he said that. Just saying. <laughs> I think mine are bigger. Yeah, I think they're about. Right, that's gonna bug me. I can't really see them. I mean, on top yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> you can put a little like logo on it. Yeah, we could yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Logo. It's it's UK, gonna like. get us cancelled <laughs> off YouTube, can't wait. <laughs> what was I gonna write? Got a strike coming in pound. <laughs> yes. Um what was I say? Where do you see That's OnlyFans progressing into? I don't really understand. Say that again. Sorry. So you only do OnlyFans, right? Mm hmm So do you see yourself ever yeah. venturing out of that and maybe going into porn or Yeah. Um what do other stuff outside of like the industry? Like what? I'm a landlord and stuff like that. Okay. But on, in terms of in the industry, I do want to go into porn, but like I was saying earlier, I use my full real name. Mm. And then that becomes a little bit of a problem sure. when you've got your full name on Pornhub mm. and, you know, your family members are scrolling for it, looking for, you know, a video to whack one out to. And they see your yeah, name. Yeah, sure. Like, I, d I just don't like the fact that it's my last name because obviously then that's like everyone. Can you not family. change it? Or do you feel as though that's, still no. your, br that's your brand now? Yeah, see. That's your brand. Not to be like, everyone knows me. But no, like, but that's, that's if they know like Lily what, Phillips, they yeah, know Lily yeah, Phillips. Yeah, 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 exactly. But if you go into the industry, that's, could you not just potentially change it then? Or, and they go, I think could they, 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 you could keep, yeah, but you could keep that separate, right? Yeah, I guess you could go with like, um, Lily. Something, yeah. Lily Instead, Savage. Yeah, like Lily Sucks or something Lily's. like that. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> like on, on your name and so then you can be like there yeah. on your Instagram. <laughs> and that's actually what I was going to ask you. I'm, that's, I, I got distracted, oh. sorry. Um, outside of, like just getting to know who Lily is, outside of- <laughs> Why are you giggling up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> finished? Sorry. Are you sorry. finished? I oh, know, childish. No, we grow up a little bit. <laughs> we are very childish. <laughs> it takes us ages. <laughs> I, You've I never seen a pair of tits before, have you? This is a fact. It doesn't matter how old a man is. Sorry, Whenever a guy sees a pair of tits, he'll go, oh my God, a pair of tits. <laughs> he'll get just as excited you know about we a pair of tits. You were saying this earlier, that small tits are back in fashion. Yeah, but yeah I just they are. Think they are. Guy, Anything more than a handful is a waste. I got talked about by an older gent once. I just think with guys like... I think so. Tits, they can just see tits and they're happy. Yeah, like, true that. It's like a dog when he sees like. Yeah. Uh, if you get his treat bowl out, he knows I'm, what I'm getting. Even though he's had the same treat for half the time. It's funny was gonna if he was gonna get yours, I would have subscribed earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Have um, you ever subscribed to anyone? No, no, no. Never. No. Um, no one ever likes to admit that. No, I've never. Uh, I actually never. haven't. No. What I was going to ask is, outside of um, OnlyFans world, etc. Who it, like what are you about in terms of like you briefly touched on it there in terms of like you're a landlord. What are your other sort of vested interests? Like how what do you do with your with your earnings and your money? Like where else is your business mind? Oh well, I want to get more into property. I own more yeah. property, but obviously that just takes time. But right now, I'm just focused on fucking and sucking. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't <laughs> yeah, thought fair, yeah, that fair. much into the future just yet. But yeah, just like so what do you, what do you do with your money? currently saving it um i invest like a bit of it like yeah. my brother does the whole like bitcoin right so okay. i just kind of give it to him and he sorts it for me yeah fair does does your family know you want to get into the industry hi mom and dad <laughs> I I do now. no they're gonna <laughs> yeah. no no they no, no because no. i wouldn't dare say it really 
Because again, like doing RF and stuff is is one level. Yeah, this is a complete yeah, 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 yeah. Another level. Exactly. Like we've spoke to people in the industry before, and they said once you go into that, it's a completely different field. So yeah. And I think you, as well. I was just thinking. Like I was going to say, have you thought about the pros and cons of like going into the industry? Because once you're in it, you're in it. Yeah. Well, I've thought about it for so so long. Like obviously, since I've started OnlyFans, that's kind of what I thought about going into next. But it's just like. Obviously, when I started OnlyFans, I didn't. I kind of told them straight away, but I was like, I just made the account, and then did it, and then I think my mum saw something on Instagram, so I just told them. Right. But like, I don't know how that I go down at telling them about porn, because at the end of the day, no one wants to hear, "Oh, my child does porn, great!" Yeah, like, no one wants to hear that. But at the end of the day, you've got to do what you want and what makes you happy, and not live for other people. True, yeah, and are you one hundred percent settled on doing that, or is this something you're still going to kind of <clears throat> think about before you it's, do it? I, I've always advocated for thinking a lot before you just do. Um, so definitely thinking about it more. But I want to do it with the right person. I don't just want to do it with some fucking deadbeat. You know what I mean? Like I want to, yeah, it needs <laughs> with some small man i want to do it with someone who's like Small actually a man. bit more like hung like a horse yeah <laughs> johnny sims yeah yeah. Sims. yeah does that matter does the size matter oh, that's a good question does this do you feel as though size matters <laughs> definitely how big is enough oh like i like an average average and above which like, is what in your eyes maybe like a seven but like thickness counts for more than mm. length mm. you don't want it to hit the bottom of the barrel but not touch the size i'm with you that's what i'm saying like oh i'm using are... that next you can do if you want. <laughs> I'm going to go no but here. like people say you're like you know after it goes past a certain point you don't really feel it like you know, it's just huge. Like Yeah, a lot of people have said this. You can't feel you the same yeah. dance again. I know. He's like, listen, don't try to be funny, you prick. <laughs> don't try to be funny. You prick. What what size are your guys' cocks? Mine's like the, my my iPhone to be fair, the the twelve pound like, size. <laughs> you should have a little iPod. thickness <laughs> about here. iPhone mini. <laughs> yeah, okay, mate. I'm I've seen to... yours, bruv. <laughs> I'd be worried if my cock was that thick. Yeah, that would be That'd too be too much. big. If you that, had one that fit, that would be Oh too much. no, I could definitely take that. Really? I could get that out. Pringle bottle, mate. As long as I can get it in my mouth, Please then don't. like. Do not give up my. <laughs> Do it. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I don't want to make it all wet, though. Can you take it off, please? Sorry. No, that's it. it I've stop. ruined it. Oh, why? Do you. Are you going to sell that? Are you going to take it back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get a new mic. Come on, sorry. <laughs> What's going on guys? Just want to quickly interrupt the pod to ask for a small favor. If you guys can hit that subscribe button, it would do us a solid. Let's get back to the pod. We never got your guys' size. This is important. Wait, what? What do you mean for size? Size? Size. size. Show me your hands. Yeah, sweet. A couple of them, you'll be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> prove it. Just prove it. <laughs> no, you can prove it later. Sorry, carry on. No, oh, I was just going to say, since we're doing some wild shit, what is the wildest thing you have done on your OF? Like? You know what? I'm quite mainstream with my porn. Like, um, it's very like amateur stuff. And that's how I like it. I like it to be like girl next door vibes, okay. like innocent looking, massive slot of mine. Um, but uh, it's just like your usual stuff, like sh in what? What? and what? stuff. No, 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 not my only fans. I mean, when when you talk about <laughs> what's the weirdest thing like people have ever asked. Uh, for, oh, oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> what? Wait, so I, I mean, what have you done? I've, I've... Oh, sorry, no, I'm, I don't do the sh. No sh. Okay, no, fair. Sh I draw the line up. What about pissing? Would you piss in? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, you have to be, <laughs> yeah, I used to have a huge piss fetish. I've talked about this a lot. What being on or pissing? Do the no, piss hard or the piss deep? on and pissed in. Squirting is pretty much that anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, no? Wow, Pardon? okay. It's pretty much pissing anyway. Boys, we have to tone this Sweating. down a bit. Oh, I don't know. We're on the <laughs> subject of pissing, so. <laughs> the whole thing's going to be beep. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, the weirdest thing I've ever done. I can yeah, fit my whole fist in my ass. In your ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that like. <laughs> Sorry to. <laughs> yeah, you're going to take a breather. Yeah, that, mate. <laughs> That's actually fucked. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's quite impressive when you see the video. Like, you don't think that Have you got one on your phone? Yeah, why? Well, do you want to see it? Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. You sounded scared then. No. Do you sure you want to see it? It's quite yeah. like um, a scary. The... No, do no, not no, turn no, the no. camera around. Please. I'll just, I'll get like um. No, get it out. That's a, so funny. Um, that was so funny. 
I'm gonna have to cut. Ash, Wait, have to... let me show know, like a. I'll know. do like a screen grab, not for you guys, but like for you guys. Let's see. When was it? Was it when oh, I was can, in my We can family? just have bleeps over it. I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to cut the scene out. I'm just going to bleep certain words. I can imagine the boys watching this. I know you're all sitting there like that. Gotta keep this. Up. It's fine. Oh, we ain't gonna try just for this, are ya? Oh no. <laughs> just subscribe to uh, OnlyFans boys, and you'll get to see exactly exactly we're what we're promote, seeing we're right now. We're not promoting subscribing, boys. No, stay stay pure. No, all right. Not. Sorry, I've got to. Go on. No, no, no. Wait, there, no, no. Oh, pain. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> That's the wrong way to turn, isn't it? Surely. No, I've got a. Um, I'll get you a little light. Snip it. I don't know yeah. how I'm gonna clean this phone. It'll be fine. The amount of stuff on this phone, honestly. Oh yeah. Oh, humming. <laughs> Make sure you put it in the one in the bedroom. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, that oh, really is. Oh, you actually. Yeah, I write yeah. that a lot. <laughs> Look at our shower port. Well, you like you start with one finger, two, three, then it just Kill like off. a lot of lube. But like you have to work on your asshole. Like it takes a while. Trust me, that's years in the making. No, it's hard work. <laughs> like I think it's from all like the fucking up the ass as well. Like I used to get this guy and he had a huge. Car. He used to f me a lot of the ass. So, like, then it just kind of. Standard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my God. I'm really, really <laughs> this yeah. Oh my God. Um, Do you know what? I think even outside of the pod, well, definitely outside of the pod, you are the most open. Yeah, definitely. Sexually open person I've <clears> ever <throat> spoken to. In my I know life. one other girl <laughs> like that. She's actually a good mate of mine. I know one other girl. Who's good mate. Huh? Good you just won't know her. Oh. Yeah. She, I know. Her name's. Oh, her name's I've never Mark ever. Out enough. Yeah, she, uh, I should cut that out. <laughs> uh, I know one other girl who and you'd love her a lot. I've never ever met a girl with sexual <laughs> ever. Mm. I don't know. I've just always been like it, and just very yeah, like I said, from a young age, quite sex obsessed. Is this this isn't an act? This is all legit. No, no, like honestly, you know, when you, you're like the one when you're growing up and you're having a sleepover and stuff like that. I was the one that sleepover I and. Mean, and kiss each other. I want to see you <laughs> shag and stuff like that to like the two girls. When you do like dares and stuff like that. Do you ever like sleep with like, your mate's brothers and that? Yeah, I slept with my best friend's brother in their family hot tub. I was at the wrong sleepover, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and, no, she was like, on holiday as well when I did it. So I think it was a bit of a shock when I called up the next day. Guess who I got with last night? Do you reckon guys get intimidated by you when they meet you? You know what? What's funny with guys is you can say anything. Like, you can fuck with them so easy. Like, it's so funny. Like, I, I do like fucking with guys. Like, you know, you go up to a night and you say, oh, just, how big is your c I was just wondering. And it's so funny because you see their face just drop. Like, I think because they're not used to it and stuff like that. Mm. Like, girls, obviously, I think we're quite used to guys being a bit fucking weird and saying <laughs> stuff. I don't know about so. that. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Do you reckon there's? Do you reckon there's like obviously a double standard? Because if I took a girl out on a day and I said, "Show me a tits or how big is your vag or something," I'd oh yeah, then she'd probably like block your number and be like, "What?" That's what I'm trying to say. So like, I feel like women can get away with it. Oh really yeah, can't. that's what I love about being a girl. You can get away with so. So much on, a, on like <clears throat> when it comes to dating vibes, Lily, when you go out like when you can you move a bit forward, Lily. Blue lights in your rear. Sorry. Thank you. Big knees. You look like yeah. a smurf. When um yeah, when you're on the dating scene and you're going out of a guy, mm -hmm. are you pretty like this on the first date? Like, are you open about this type of thing? Like, what? Oh no, you gotta leave a little bit. To be fair, as on the first date, but <laughs> it's hard not to. You right. know, if you go out and you have a bit of a drink, <laughs> do you always end up f***ing them? I tell myself not to, but um no, I try to stay, especially if it's like someone who I like actually like. I've tried to stay a little bit more um tame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Do you Keep really think a guy's going to take you seriously? <laughs> Ever? No, but if I'm on a date, I'm not like, can I let me suck your c**k? I mean, it depends how many drinks I've had, but <laughs> like, n it's not the first thing I'll say. Do these guys try to date you though? Or are they on a date with you just to f*** you? Oh no, on a date with me just to f*** me. That's what 100%. I'm trying to say. So it's, it's just like trying to suss out if someone is serious. Do you reckon like, the, I mean, the approach will be completely different. Yeah. But the way you're getting approaches, I'm guessing either through online or in person, but it's very direct because they might know how you are. Yeah, haven't worked out how to suss it out just yet. <laughs> I mean, I, I think, I think you... you're gonna struggle. Oh really? Well, what can like, you do? You are an attractive girl, and thank like, you. 
anyway <laughs> you're, you're, you're attractive girl and you seem pretty nice like on face value but i just don't think any any bloke's ever gonna take you seriously thank you so she should be, <laughs> she should be open to an open relationship yeah. So. yeah yeah but not all guys think like you in terms that's of that's very true yeah no, I, know, I know that yeah yeah but... yeah so there are a lot of guys like you said like who are into like open relationships and being a cook and stuff like that like there are a lot of weird guys out you there as well you want to get a weird guy you want to get yeah. a date man well think about all the most popular porn stars Riley Reard um yeah. who else that Lana the Plugs just well her husband like sat there didn't, yeah. didn't he and like he's, do, getting, he's getting ripped in. yeah that's fucking weird <laughs> that's weird as <laughs> fuck <Adam, Adam, laughs> yeah, he's a fiend yeah, like, yeah yeah that's he's weird as fuck like no, exactly. Mate. You just don't give a, a shit. But they fuck other yeah. girls, don't they? Yeah, is that like, it's open, isn't they? Yeah, but Works you know, both ways. Do, do you know how much of a beta male Adam Twenty Two is? <laughs> he, he let I his... think he seems quite hot. Well, yeah, he got let his missus get shagged by another man, <clears throat> and then went and bought her a Lamborghini <clears throat> after. Like, Imagine. goals. Can't be more of a beta, beta male <laughs> tribe. Like, I think that's embarrassing. Well, I, I don't. I think it's quite hot. Quite it just depends. Ruined her as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had a big. Co- I love that, bruv. I've watched it. <laughs> <laughs> so really? did I. <laughs> Have you seen it? He has oh, got no, a no. big like BBC, hasn't he? Mm. So you you'd happily get him a cuck. Yeah, well, like I find I don't twenty two hot. Like, I don't find it like I don't know. That's did, just it turn, did it turn you on the thought of? Oh, I think well, I think, I think you answered it earlier. Actually, like seeing your partner with somebody else or being involved. Yeah, with... yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, oh my god, I love group sex. Where's this all come from? Like, how have you uh, how have you gathered this? Where's his appetite coming from? I actually from? don't know. No, this is the question I've had for the longest time since I started OnlyFans. Because people always ask me, like, oh, a lot of OnlyFans girls, you know. Trauma. Yeah. Yep. Exactly <laughs> that. Like, a lot of girls I talk to, like, actually don't enjoy it. And they just do it for money. And they just do it because, like, their parents hated them. And, you know, yeah, they got, like, in. molested as a child or something like that. And that's just not the case for me at all. And so it's it's really strange. I don't know. I think it's just in my blood. Born <laughs> <laughs> sure and that. bred. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I can't. Do you I see yourself like it. what's past this? You know, let's fast forward ten years from now. Yeah. What do you still see yourself in the industry? Like, are there other sort of vested interests that you have in your life other than sort of say property, for example? You think, you know, I'm going to enjoy doing what I'm doing for the next ten years, make a shit ton of money do the X, Y, and Z of it and then fucking retire and kick up at 35 or like what is, yeah. what's like your long-term plans? I've always said I'll do it until I stop enjoying it. So like the moment I stop enjoying it, I'll stop doing it. When you say stop enjoying it, enjoying what? Like, I don't think you're ever going to stop enjoying Like <laughs> No, but they'll get a point where I can't be asked to do any fans anymore. Right, like it'll just get old and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes I'm sure it'll get like repetitive and I don't know the next, it depends like. 10 20 years i've done it for like three years now and i still love it as much as i did the day i started yeah fair. um but yeah and also i think people go on oh you can only do it until a certain age but there's always there's always sex work and there's always um you're always going to be a fetish to someone yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. no matter yeah, what yeah. age you are no no matter if like you're an old woman people someone will out there will like yeah, it yeah, exactly, yeah of course they will exactly. yeah fair uh That's yeah fair. so so you, just, you don't you literally just see yourself doing this until like, oh, I suppose that's a good answer to be fair. You get to the point where you're like, Joe, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm, mm, exactly. I've always only done something because I enjoy it. That's why I do any fans because I just love it. Yeah, fair. And you... I suppose you want to get to the point where you've got enough money stacked where you can just sort of kick back and be like, yeah, it's I'm not good. even about the money. You know, I didn't start because like I've I've come from a good family and stuff like that. I, we weren't not that like I wasn't rich or anything like that, but like I wasn't poor like I, did, I didn't need the money it wasn't like i need money um it was just because i wanted to do it you enjoy it yeah yeah, yeah fair. Exactly. i write the answer you recently had an encounter with hs <laughs> I was uh, do you see the photo yeah, yeah I, saw, I saw the photo <laughs> 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 you should see winter. the video that's what i'm trying to establish <laughs> right now is that kind of what went down like did you guys he, he definitely takes on? a cut he, t- he definitely takes a cut if he's doing a material review i know he no does. no he's a businessman no 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 well, tell us about Harrison, that encounter, no so me and harrison are friends and we met on holiday and he obviously saw in me that we were just like oh you clearly love like um love what you do and he just sort of like helped me out with it and stuff like that. But to be fair, like obviously, I guess some of the like the raunchy photos, like I'm not saying I help him or anything like that, but like he just thought it'd be like funny and things like that to post him. 
It's good material. It does blow up, goes viral. Yeah, like you should. I don't know if you guys are in the tele. Like he's got like a telegram, telegram group. Telegram, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's some video videos in that yeah. as well. So what? You, did, <laughs> you guys chopped. I take it, all right? I'll leave it to your imagination. I'm just like, come on, let's just be honest. <laughs> we'll hear it here first. Yes, <laughs> no, I'll how leave it to it? your That's guys' imagination. Yes. Everyone fucking asks, how big is Harrison's? Why do you want to know? I didn't ask that. I didn't no, ask no, that. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying all, all guys like online like talk about it and they say they, that's the first question they ask me they say how big is hs's i think can i find out for yourself you gay boy he gets a lot of grief online but maybe that's why they want to know because if it is more than they can rip into him or something. <laughs> so you expect, it could be like, yeah, yeah maybe could be because maybe because he gets a lot of hate online yeah that's true that is true that's but, how he blew up yeah literally mm. do you not care about any i mean do you get any hate lily do you get any people like oh, coming at you no yeah not bother you at all no, no, I think, you know what, you could sit in your bed and cry all day or you can strive to do better each day and, you know, prove the, like, haters wrong or whatever. Yeah. And at the end of the day, these are strangers mm -hmm. online. Like, why would I care what a stranger thinks? Like, you, all you should care about is, you know, what the people close to you think, your friends and your family who yeah. actually know you. Yeah. Like, uh, the people online, obviously, they see snippets of me. You know, doing what you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they don't know me. They don't know what I'm actually mm. like in real life and stuff like that. And so, um, so who is Lily behind the scenes then? Not behind the scenes on the camera doing OF. Who yeah. are you, like, who are you just? No, well, I have. I. Do you, know I mean? you know what? I'm quite like boring. I don't like going out that much. I like running. Um, yeah. like I, I love my sport and stuff like that. Like going to the gym and things like that. Yeah. Um, and it's quite a boring life. Like I just work a lot. Um. And that's about it. It's not. It's not that much. That much more. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I like a night out once in a while and things like that. What about traveling? Because we know with your. I hate traveling. You hate traveling. Hate traveling. Hate traveling. Really. I think I'm quite like autistic in that way that I just like a routine and I like being at home. We now have two autistic people on the panel. It's like how Dave would say, another gay no. guy can see another gay guy. Another it's when I met you. I see another autistic guy. Because <laughs> when I met you and you, you didn't even look me in the eye, you were like, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Just go in for a hug. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not actually. Yes, she is. Yes, he is. He is. His, his ex girlfriend made him do a test and he's on the spectrum. <laughs> is that true or false? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my no. goodness. Oh. That's so funny. We don't mate. discriminate, mate. We have all types of walks of life on oh, here. No, no. It's all good, We've got a very inclusive panel. We're far <laughs> We've got two autistic people on it. Yeah. We're, we're very inclusive. <laughs> we <top>. are. <laughs> So, are oh. you are you close with your friends like oh my god yeah you are and like did that friendship circle change when you went into the industry because again not at all, not at my all. friends have never said anything that they really support what i do they say like That's do good. what you love and i think from a young age they always knew i was fucking weird just with that sex. girl yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i was always the one in the friendship group talking about sex and they're like oh my god are you fucking going on about it was you a slut in school not even but i like to i like talking about sex i always said um when i was like 16 17 i was like oh, I'm, I'm not uh losing my virginity until i have a boyfriend and so kind of got a boyfriend pretty quick and then <laughs> <laughs> and then i think with the first week of dating him i was i only shagged him and then was like on to the next okay, yeah, the only reason right. i asked that is because when you was in school there's always that one slight in school what, like, yes, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, you know what i think this one probably i'm more of a slutty stage now because you know get get, system. Yeah, yeah, yeah i didn't get it when i was younger did you go to like a quiet reserve school? You said you were from a village, a quiet village. Was it like a sleepy school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper boring. Proper boring. Like, nothing going on. So what have you learned about the industry now? I mean, because yeah, you are, you're 22, do you say, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what have you learned that... from the industry now that you could perhaps tell or recommend to other girls your own age or younger girls that are thinking about getting into the industry? And yeah. What would um, you say to them? Always, I thought about it for at least like a good six months before I started yeah um always have a good think you know it's not as easy as you think it is obviously like it's f easier than you know any like nine to five yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not yeah, saying sure. I've got the hardest job in the world but as in to make actually like a living yeah it's not as easy as people think it is um and of course like there's so much downsides to the fact that like you you can't get a mortgage you can't I was gonna get ask like, that actually oh, wow. i'm gonna what? come back to that carry on so i'm gonna come back to that yeah, go on, carry you on. can't get like a lease on a car like it does come with like financial issues it comes with like obviously so many people look down on you especially like not uh, not everyone 
I'm so lucky to have like my family and sure. my friends be so accepted and stuff like that. Yeah. But not everyone's that lucky and like people will disown you and people will treat you differently. Yeah. Um yeah, it comes it, obviously like the hate is also like a huge part. I think for the job it's such more of like a mental job than it is physical because at the end of the day your your only worth is your body. Like it's quite like sad you mean, in the industry you mean. It. Yeah, yeah, right. in the industry like at the end of the day your worth is down to how you look. What, how you look. It's quite shallow, but it's yeah. true. Um, and so, yeah, it does kind of like, it comes with a lot of Has like it ever affected stuff. your mental health? No, no. I have Never. really good like mental health. Yeah. I've always been That's very nice. like, good. Good. happy and stuff like that. I feel like you all want to ask a question. Yeah, it's just about, oh, oh, that was my question earlier when you said <clears throat> you're a property or a landlord. So how, how did you get a mortgage? Or if you can't go into that legally, you don't have to answer it, but. Uh, bought it outright. Interesting. Fair f play, man. Yeah, wow, yeah. Hats off to you, girl. Can't, it, can't even. Why is that though? Of interest because surely that you're just your own business, right? So should they just look at your books and how much you earn? How are they yeah. not taking that into account? Well, I I bought that when I was like nineteen, and so I'd only been doing OnlyFans for like a year. Or yeah. So. I think I was nineteen, twenty, and so, so I've yeah, been doing it for a couple of years. And I think um, when they look at your books as a business, I think I'd only been um, Lily Phillips Limited. Yeah. For like a year or so. So. But like, now you can. I think so, but it's hard like they'll only give you a little bit and you have to go off your tax returns you can't go off your actual earnings or yeah 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 it'll be like as well i'm like oh it's a lot to go into but like i'm employed by lily phillips limited so like Fine. it'll be how much i earn. pay yourself yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah exactly yeah, yeah, which like obviously is a lot less than yeah yeah what my business says yeah sure yeah. i'm with you cool wow okay. that was yeah, a so boss was... bitch thing you just said there like as when you when i went yeah, how'd yeah. you get a mortgage you went bought it out right that, that was cold. <laughs> that's a big statement isn't it? that was it's so cold. easy as well yeah, man. Yeah. well i'm gonna use that for real because that was fucking cold that was a mic drop moment that was, that was pretty decent yeah, 499 doesn't seem so cheap now does it <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah, fair, no, play. Fair, play. Yeah. fair play i don't like to like spunk my money though because especially with stuff like that that's online like you never know when it's gonna go and stuff true. like that yeah, yeah that's very true quite yeah. switched on with that kind of stuff do you have anyone it's my mum i was gonna say that anyone guiding you yeah yeah, yeah, my mum. She's like they own. Um, well, they've just sold their business now, but they own like um, cleaning business. And so, like, she just was like, "Let me sort out your finances." Especially when I first started, she was like, "You know what? You're 18, like, and obviously I was earning a little bit more than like the average 18 year old." So she was like, "You know, I need to take care of this," and like got an accountant straight away and sorted it all out. That's good. That's a good mum, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's yeah. good. Got that's like a um, financial advisor. Yeah, things like that. I'm so. impressed. Yeah, same. Can't lie. <laughs> Not many people your age would have this much shit figured out. <laughs> Considering the, the, the verbal manure that comes out your mouth <laughs> <laughs> and how in check your actual life is, is it's quite True. impressive. Yeah, I'm, I would say I'm quite organised. Yeah, it's fair. And why don't you, why don't you like travelling? So I'll cut your passport up right now. You would, you would oh care. Oh my God. I just like, I think as well, not to like, go back to how much work I do. But when it comes to going on holiday for me, like <clears throat> it's like, oh, I'm going to take some Instagram <clears throat> photos and I may as well do a nice video like, in the sunshine because it looks so much better and like i i just end up doing like a lot of work content on, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So just kind of i've never like the whole time i've ever been on any fans i don't think i've ever had a day where i've not gone on my phone why do you not just go on all day and just think well i'm gonna f switch off now for the next week and just because oh, it's hard to isn't it like so just hard. easy money yeah, yeah yeah exactly well it's just like oh you know what with our job like you can always be doing more you can always be earning more sure and so it's hard to kind of have that like off switch of I'm just going to have a nice holiday. Um, but also, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm quite like, I like a routine. You're a bit of a homely girl. Yeah, mm. such a homebody. So I don't like going out. Do you want a family like... one day? No, no. You don't really? want kids? I hate kids. Really? The f Do you feel no. as though that might change though in the next I don't years? know. I don't know. You're too young to think to, to even think that. 22, you weren't thinking about, none of us were thinking about I it. knew I wanted kids. From... Really? Yeah, I know. But at 22, you certainly weren't thinking not any I'm certain. Oh, sure. still, still not yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so hard though, aren't they? I don't know. Do you know what? I, don't, I tell you what's really funny. I was watch, watching a video the other day, digressing slightly. The only reason having kids has become so hard is because how much everything costs nowadays mm. compared to what it was when we were younger. I can't remember the exact statistics. So I'm not going to... Uh, Liam, I know if you're watching, you're going to be angry at me for not knowing the statistics. But, <laughs> but basically... Yeah, basically it was like 
how much houses were back then compared to how much we earn and how much and the video the other day the video yeah, the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, said yeah. we're now having less children 20 times more expensive it, from 1979 to now. to now it's 20 times more expensive to be alive so less people are having kids because of this yeah because the financial impact of having a kid kids ain't cheap but wages have only gone yeah. up seven times yeah and financial living has gone up between 20 and 29 yeah. times yeah. yeah something crazy like yeah, that. yeah stupid so yeah. i don't i don't think kids are hard i think Find the financial aspect of having kids is hard, yeah, and that's why it deters people. Because I, I come across a lot of girls nowadays saying to me, "Oh, I don't want kids. I, I don't." And I think that's really sad, and because it's sad for the girls that can't physically have kids, yeah. Because there's loads of girls that want families and they can't, which is which is horrible. And then you've got a girl that is physically able to have a child, and they're not choosing to reproduce. When I believe my the only purpose for humans really is to reproduce. The only every animal on earth can reproduce, and we're one of them. So yeah, why, why? I feel like that's such a male perspective though of kids aren't hard because you know uh, coming from quite like a traditional view like yeah, men go out to work they do you know have the day off and don't really see the kids throughout the day and the women's are usually the ones at home hands yeah. look after the kids yep. and spend every waking hour with a child yep. um, and you know like even when it comes down to like breastfeeding and stuff like that you guys get the luxury of not having to do that and having to like then have you know spend so much more time with it and stuff like that uh yeah that comes from a traditional traditional point of view but i would be, want to be very involved in my kid's life yeah mm. do you not feel do you not feel any um are you maternal at all basically no well, okay <laughs> no. fine well that's there you go that's, i don't really like looking after people that's where the answer okay yeah. that explains the answer all right okay fair enough there's nothing wrong with that i don't think there's anything wrong like I think that I personally think that might change for you in the next 10 to 15 can, years. Yeah. But yeah. right now, I think you're just enjoying the ride that you're on. Yeah, I'll exactly, rate it. Literally. Exactly. What are you going to do when you're like, just, have you ever thought, have you ever deeped it? Well, you, like, you just ma spend your time year. with your husband, don't you? Yeah, okay. You're a 75 year old woman or 85 year old yeah. woman and it's Christmas. Yeah. You're sat indoors. You've got no grandkids around you, yeah. no kids around you. You've got nothing. It's just you and your husband. Your husband might have died. Now it's just you. You're lonely. You have no family. Well, I have a brother. Or. or he wants kids. Or you could be in a house with three generations of kids in, in under one roof and it's all come from stem from you. What's going on guys? Just want to quickly interrupt the pod to ask for a small favor. If you guys can hit that subscribe button, it would do us a solid. Let's get back to the pod. Yeah, do, you know how, do you know how fulfilling that would be? No, but just cause like you want kids for that one Christmas or like one, you Christmas. know, no, but like that so, one moment when you're older, doesn't mean like you want to be slaving away mm. in your thirties, having to like look after them, bring them up. But, but like you're not my brother slaving wants... away. Look, you, you just bought a house outright. You won't be slaving away. You no, I mean, nannies. it's in like looking after, you know, but kids still, even if you have mm. nannies, kids are still so, so, so hard. And like, you don't, even if you had a nanny, you wouldn't want to just neglect your kid, let it have a nanny. Cause that's when it gets all like, trauma and my parents don't love me and then that's when they go into only pants <laughs> <laughs> clearly, the, clearly that pattern doesn't you, you're the uh exception Outlier, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah well here, here we go right so you're saying this might be okay, how can i wear this right you're saying kids are hard mm. and you do of and i'm not discrediting of like as yeah, in like yeah, you yeah, don't no. you never you you have worked previously in your life, but would you say this is easier than having a normal job? A hundred and ten percent. So do you think you always take the easy route in life because you don't want kids because you think it's hard? You didn't yeah. take a job because it's hard, so you think you're always taking the easy route? Oh f yeah, like well, who wants a hard life? I think hard life. I think <laughs> other answers. I gotta say that like that's <laughs> such brutal honesty. Yeah, well, I think hard life creates good people. For, I think for men, yeah, but yeah. for women, I don't think it's as important. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like I've I've worked jobs and so I know how the real world works and I know like money isn't that easy to get and stuff like that. And my parents have always um, been very strict on like showing me the value of money and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, why the fuck would I want to be going to nine to five every single day when I can do this? Online? No, of course I get that. I I, I respect that as well. I, I, that's not what I was saying. I was thinking as your mindset, do you think you always choose the easy route? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you never want to take the hard route. Definitely. You never want to grind. You never well, want to- Well, like I, I, you know, I go to the gym every single day and I guess that's like <coughs> hard. And, you know, I do hard tasks, but <laughs> when it comes to work, like I, yeah, I'd way rather do an easier job than- Something that's a bit more harder. This still is like very rewarding though, like when you see your growth and stuff like that. And you do put like a lot of time time and effort into it. What's been, what's been the most rewarding part about doing what you're doing? I, don't, I actually couldn't tell you. Like just, I just, in, I love my life. And I think that's why I love my job so much because it gives me such a happy life and I kind of get to do what I want. In, in terms of like on the day to day, 
Yeah, I'll what are those up. things that make you yeah. happy? What is that? Yeah, no, every morning I'll get up. I'm an early bird, so yeah. 7 a.m., straight to the gym, nice. go to the gym for like an hour and stuff like that, and then get back and then, you know, it's rather like custom, seeing what I've got to do for work. Yeah. Um, And like, you know, do stuff like this and things like that. But yeah, it's just, that's kind of like day to day on what I do. I actually forgot what the question was <laughs> <laughs> that what you're saying them things that like make you happy yeah what are those types of things like what uh, you you briefly started to touch on it there but like what are the things you do that make you happy on a day like what does a, a day in the life of lily look like essentially or is it just, I, but it's so I think different it's having a routine yeah what makes me really happy cool. and also now i've recently started taking like weekends off yeah nice um so like actually enjoying myself at the weekends going out a bit spending time with my friends and family is like what mm. i love yeah you go home a lot not, not as, as much as shit. Yeah. yeah, I knew he was gonna say it's that. It's hard though. I knew he was gonna say that. What's the plans for your OF though? Like, do you plan on like scaling it up or are you just happy with how it's going? Is there like any plans for it? No, always scaling up. I want to go more like um to the American like market and oh, stuff wow. like that. Because OnlyFans over there is huge. Huge, isn't it? yeah. Massive. Yeah, if you're known in America, then what makes your OnlyFans so different, Lily? Like what like we we know a few OnlyFans girls now and like they've all got their own sort of little unique yeah. thing that they do. Um what is what makes your content special? Um, I think it's the fact that it's like amateur, very like innocent looking, you know, lady on the street speaking the sheets. Yeah, um, girl next but, door type vibe. Yeah, and the fact that this is just how I am. I think a lot of girls for online put it on and stuff like that. Sure. And don't actually enjoy it. And you can tell when they don't enjoy it because I've collabed with some girls. You know, they're just faking stuff. Like I'm personally buying. So like nowadays I won't collab with girls that aren't buy as well. Fair enough. I just find it like awkward. Yeah, yeah, like you can tell they don't want to have sex with you, and I'm like, oh, it's gross. <laughs> like, and you know, like someone's like faking it. I'm just not into that. Yeah, fair. Um, so it's very real, like amateur sex. That can genuinely girl. tell that you really love. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like sometimes you talk to people, you can actually tell maybe like there is like an end goal where they want to get out of the industry, but I feel like you actually love what you do. Yeah, I think. I believe it. <laughs> I believe you. Trust yeah. me, I'll show you later. Oh, I hope so. No, I think a lot of girls, especially these days, like want to go into the, for the money and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, I think you need to go into it because you love it. Yeah. Yeah, fair. I'm right, yeah. Did just you, go on. You first. No, no, because I was going to switch it up. Just I was going to switch it up as well. Go on. Sure. I was going to say, what has been like your worst dating story? Because you're quite wild. So you've gone on a date with a girl, obviously, I reckon some shit gone down. What's like the wildest story you have? Weird. I mean, like a couple of weeks ago, I went on a date with a guy. I'm <laughs> like, obviously, you go on these like drink dates and you end up getting fucked. And then we ended up in a nightclub and then we just sucked him off in the bathroom toilets. <laughs> 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 Haven't heard from him since. Because <laughs> <laughs> the head was no good or <laughs> probably teething. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, no, wow. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> what club is this? Yeah. <laughs> this is but nothing too too bad. Obviously, like just some dates are a bit dead, and you don't actually enjoy. Where do you meet like... these guys on dates? Yeah, where do you, you know what? People? I'm on Hinge. I'm on Hinge. So if you see me on Hinge, match Bumble. But to be fair, I like to meet people in real life because then you, yeah. you get a vibe and you can kind of see quite easily if you you're going to be able to have a conversation for the next two hours yeah, yeah. sure you know if you see someone online you think oh and no, i'd rip his clothes yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but then you get in real life and he's a little shy boy small it's just a bit boring you're just like oh. <laughs> i think this is what you were saying earlier is that i feel as though you one would probably intimidate most men and you I feel like you're quite i don't know if dominance is the right word but like you that might intimidate very some dominant. guys yeah, it's you know he's got dominant energy yeah definitely <laughs> yeah definitely. very dominant energy no, well, on a day, I can play nice, uh, I, you know. Well, what you can play back. nice? <laughs> 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 Sorry, that just come out. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. It literally just come out. Back in the carriage. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I forgot the camera's wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ash, keep that in. <laughs> Go on. Get out. Do you feel like guys Bad on day try to put up a bit of a persona, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you feel like guys try to put up a Sorry. bit of a persona? Um, like try to say how much they earn or what they do and how, I don't oh, know. Oh, I won't go on a date with an arrogant I can't stand people like that. Mm. They talk a lot about money and stuff like that. You're but you might not know before you're on the date, right? Yeah, that is true. That is true. But I, you know what? I'll call a taxi if they start acting up like that. 
I don't like people like that. I mean, how does a guy get you into bed then when he's on a date? Like, what is it that attracts just you to? Has a career. No, apart from the, <laughs> apart from the, no, it's no, got a it's one, got no. You know what? Someone who's just like confident. I've said it before. Like, you just get along with them, have a bit of a laugh. Like, it's it's fairly easy. It's pretty hard to cock up, like getting me into bed. So, <laughs> <Can't f> <laughs> has the guys ever said no? No, don't be silly. They must have been. No way. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking. You know, you know what? Actually, I'll retract that statement because I reckon they might be so intimidated by you. They might actually maybe. Do you feel like, from your experience, yeah. Lily, now that, um, how do I word this properly? Like, Maybe from your expectations or maybe from your experience in the bedroom and that type of thing that most guys in the bedroom really ain't a clue what they're doing. Oh, that's a yeah. good question. Yeah, definitely. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can teach them though quite easily, I feel like. Well, teach the man. Imagine yeah, that. no, no, well, you tell them, don't you? We're not going to sit there for the next 20 minutes having shite sex. Like, mm. I'd rather be like, oh no, just move here. And, and it's only just like what, you know, if, if they're... A lost cause, I'll, I'll just... Stop. No, I'll just lay there. But... <laughs> Pillow princess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes if it's just like one thing, you just tell them, don't you? Just yeah, nothing. Like, oh. I'll take it so you, what I'm trying to say is that your expectations are like up here though, right? For a bloke. Yeah, yeah. When, you're, when they're in the bedroom, do you get straight into that freaky stuff and show that type of side to you no, or do you no, play no. it cool? No, no. I'm not, I don't think I'm not freaky. I'm quite yes, like... Yes, you are. Um, the photo you showed me just Literally. now. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm not. No, but like anal. Everyone does anal and stuff like that. Yeah, that they? wasn't anal. Yeah. That was a whole You put your whole jar. fist up your ass. <laughs> Literally. That's, that, that, I would call that freaky. That is freaky. Of course it is. Yeah. So your level of freaky maybe is different to another person. Yeah, that's it. Yours that's is it. quite high up. Yeah, I think as to... well, being in the sex industry, you learn that anything you do is not freaky like really yeah, I, suppose, I think yeah. you, i think probably i have a false perception of what's like vanilla and stuff like yeah. that um but yeah like i'll it doesn't take me long to like start being like anal with someone and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah fair enough yeah if that's what you enjoy huh? do you ever reckon you'll need therapy you know i've been to one therapy session before but it was just a bit boring <laughs> like <laughs> she made the therapist from the therapy yeah, <laughs> session if you had the therapist you're sitting there for Hard on <laughs> during the session. <laughs> keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Just writing it all down. <laughs> oh no. Well, why did you go to therapy before? You thought someone yeah. pushed you to go do it? I or? think no. I think because I think with this job, like I've always advocated that it's a very like hard on your mentality job but then like you know they were getting into it why you know like as to why i did it and they were just like blaming my parents and i was like well i don't think it's anything to do with them because i think they were great like you know couldn't say a better word about them interesting interesting yeah, yeah. <laughs> jinx jinx yeah, yeah you like what you like fair play yeah. Do you, like, feel, do you feel like because of the misconception of what people believe sex is like online and through like, por like pornography, pornography? You know what? Ash is just going to have to cut that yeah, out. Yeah, well, through, throughout that, that they try to act, act and do what they see on there and it doesn't quite work. Yeah. Well, like, you know, on my dating profiles, I won't um, put any like sorty photos or anything like that. I won't say what I do. And so, like, I don't want someone to have like a pre perception of like, oh, yeah, fair. you know, I don't want some arrogant, cocky guy to be like, oh, I'm going to this girl tonight and stuff like that um and especially if they know what i do i think they try and like put on a bit of a, a bit of a front bit of a show. yeah yeah especially like when having sex and yeah. stuff like that they're trying to whip out what about instagram though if a guy tries chatting you up on instagram surely they've already the sin is it's on there right so they know that do you chat to guys on instagram oh, i don't chat not? to guys on instagram you don't no oh, no i can't enough. believe you're on hinge Oh, yeah, really? okay. I would have never expected you to say that to be never. fair. Never. We never thought that. What else am I going to do with my Friday night? I just thought you might meet boys out in that. Like, all the gram, isn't it? I don't go out that often. But you know what? That's a, that's a common pattern with me. With every, yeah. every OnlyFans or. Yeah, yeah. Holly, Holly hates going out. Like Every yeah. girl we've done in the industry doesn't like going out. Do you think that comes yeah. from an insecurity point of view? No, not even. I just, I'm just a homebody. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I like a nice night out, but it makes me feel like shit the next morning. Like, especially, yeah. you know, if you've been doing night you're like you got on such a come down that you're just like right i'm not doing that for the next two weeks that's disgusting wouldn't i i got a question <laughs> what is the most common mistake men make in a bedroom oh yeah good question that is a good question every guy like every girl likes things differently done 
Because, like, I much prefer, in, like, being fingered to being, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. But, oh, maybe, like... Sometimes... I think just not warming up enough. Foreplay. Like, Foreplay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Foreplay is my favourite part. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think... Don't I want think, to win sometimes. Yeah, I think yeah. guys and I get excited. Want me to <laughs> I don't have the capacity. I'm enjoying this right now. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, on, sorry. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I think guys just sometimes get too excited and they just want to like put it straight in. Yeah, that was me when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. when I was younger, I was like, that. yeah, but yeah, not yeah. anymore. But I think like kissing's so underrated and stuff yeah. like that. Kissing's um, important, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's like the biggest advice you have to our viewers right now that have probably got girlfriends that are single that are trying to crack on with birth, but they can't, and they're in the bedroom. It's not happening. Oh, you know what? Just like laugh it off. Like it's not that deep. Don't get all like, you know, if you can't get hard and stuff like that, mm. don't get like too, too tense. Carry on, I think it's more, it makes it like more embarrassing if, you know, like, he's, like yeah, if he's yeah. getting awkward about it, like just don't be awkward. Like just make a joke about it. Like no, you're too fit. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's more pressure on guys than there is in girls though in the bedroom. I think there's a mm. bit of an expectation that guys need to know what they're doing because a lot of girls don't like sleeping with unexperienced men. Yeah. So it's to a point like girls want their partner or the person that they're with to have sexual experiences where we're kind of the opposite. We want less and they want more, right? Would you would you agree or Yeah, you guys always want like really low body counts. I think mm. girls do tend to like go for guys with a bit higher, more experienced body counts and stuff like that. You wouldn't find it endearing then if a girl was, <laughs> if you had like two body counts, I didn't know what he's doing. No, no, I've, I've shagged, I've shagged, I've recently, not too long ago, shagged someone who, they were a virgin, but they just had sex with oh, wow. one, one person. Like, I mean, it's in just like once, one time, sorry. Oh. But oh. I wouldn't do T that again. Please tell us how was that? You wouldn't do that again? Like and how old was he? No, hang on, wait, tell us how was that? Genuinely. Oh. Horrendous. I don't know if people know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Yeah. Bless him. No, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I can how, say old is how old is he? 18. He's uh, actually he's actually like in the, oh, no, I can't say it, but he's, he's like. 18. In, Fair play in, to you, boy. He's in the public eye. Oh, I think I know who it is. Is he? Do this. Is, Wait. Is, is, do this. Is, 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 I don't know no, the name, but is, name is, is he proper name. tall? Blonde? No, no. You just describe know. him, describe him, just say the name, innit? I don't know the name. I've, well, I can't, I can't. Don't out him. Don't out him. Don't out him. It's fine. He actually, he actually told me off because he was like, oh, please don't talk about it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Fair play. So oh, yourself out, please. Probably embarrassed <laughs> that he's tracked me. <laughs> Can't spend the you know the funniest thing is? He's probably telling all his mates about you. Yeah, guess what? Yeah, guess what? Always <laughs> brownie points for that one. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's so funny. Who would you pick out of us if you had to? Uni, me, 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 Oh, it's a hard choice. I'd have all of you. Um, well, at the same time. <laughs> Get a fist up there. Get <laughs> with us up there. Where you lock <laughs> 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 up there. Yeah. Where you lock a finger puppet. Well, I've, got, I've got three holes, so like that could work. And now two hands to be fair. Oh, oh, what have you have who would you go for first? The thing is, I think facially wise, you're the best good looking, but Thank you. How tall are you? <laughs> Five eight. <laughs> See, oh no. You're you're my height, that's fine. Oh, I've shagged people smaller than that. Okay, fair enough. I've shagged a midget. Smaller than that, not midget. <laughs> Sorry. Smaller than that. <laughs> I'm now on that. I'm good looking, but I'm that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're all good looking. And then probably like you next. But oh, how old you. did you say you were? 32. 32. Yeah. It's quite old. It's basically dust. It is old. Yeah. Dust. I've got you're... a restaurant I can feed you after. <laughs> oh, mate. He has a restaurant. Fire in blanks. He has a restaurant. Oh really? It's exactly. How does it work coming these days? Coming? Yeah. I mean it's pretty takes three minutes. Oh really? But yeah, because people say when you get a bit older, like No, nah, it's all good. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that, that, no, that's true. If you're not, not an active really. male that's goes to the gym and stuff, I think nah. like oh, really? if you look after yourself, you can keep going to your life. But what was it? Who's the geezer? Al Pacino just gave birth gave kids. Yeah, so like twenty four year old. And she's like seventy eight. We can keep going. I've never heard that. Yeah. What? Just because you get older, that you yeah, stop that does, men that doesn't happen it to doesn't men. Women, men. women, it does, but not men. men. Oh, really? We, yeah. we can come till we die. Yeah. Oh, maybe and it just takes a bit well. longer. Though. Are we talking yeah. about lasting longer in bed? Or? No, she's talking yeah, about. I was talking about not being able to like get it up and cough. Oh no, no, no there's a, a pill problem. for that. There's a bluey for that. There is. Yeah, yeah, yeah men are active no, till old, mate. I feel like we. I feel like 
men age like fire and wine compared to women. Mm. Yeah. I, I do feel like if you put a 40 year old man and a woman next to each other, the man most likely probably will be in better shape and better looking than where a woman, their peak is a bit younger. You're probably at your peak now compared to us. Are right. we? Oh. No, but I mean, <laughs> listen, we're over 21, it's we'll all cut blessed. That word out. Cut that word out. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but it's true, though. I think it takes us a while to get to a certain point of like having our, getting to our peak. You're basically saying, do women hit the wall? Yes, they do. I don't think men do. Mm. No, but I think there are like some really good looking old women. Oh, there is. I think it's harder for a woman to maintain yeah. that look yeah. than it is for a bloke. Yes. And Question. Yeah. You know, as you guys get older, do you still fancy people... Younger. younger yeah of course we do mm. oh really because mm. i've always thought this like will i as i age will i keep fancying well look Britain? at dan bulzera and he's like 46 and all the birds range between 20 and 25 we know older They're guys than that paid to be there aren't they yeah, still we know older guys than that with a lot younger girls than that yeah. as well really I think, so, yeah, becomes, men always I think girls look up, guys. Yeah, look down. Men yeah always do you gravitate. think you guys will always fancy like young girls? Yeah, I think I always fa fancy younger girls. <laughs> younger, <laughs> younger girls, yeah. Younger girls. It's, like it's younger the same guys. with women as well, though. I think I feel like certain women come to a certain age and when a younger guy wants them, they feel more like desired or desirable. So yeah. they tend to kind of go with that mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, that is true. But the, the difference is a younger woman will take an older man seriously, but a younger man will not take an older woman seriously. That's the difference. When if it if it was to be a serious thing, yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. You're the age I'd go for between mm. yeah your age. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you guys looking to like date? No, no, no I mean We're not. Looking to chop and drop. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys? Do you guys ever get like um? Obviously, you want kids and stuff like that. Do you guys? We all do, I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. One day. Do you guys ever get? The feeling like no. you get into the age where you. Well, I'm the oldest. Nah, so not yet. I, I feel like I'm probably closest to that, but I it's not. Like it's not the right time. If I had millions me, in the bank, yeah. I'd have kids tomorrow. We've all said that. Oh, really? We've all said that. If we was all millionaires, we'd have kids tomorrow. Yeah. I, I do. I, I can't wait to have my own kids, but my lifestyle right now yeah. is absent. My my lifestyle ain't set up to have a girlfriend right like right now, let alone have kids. I said yeah. this yeah. to my old yeah, man. Like he's right. he's been on to me about getting married because in, in my culture, you do it a little bit younger. However, he's why are you a gypsy? No, I'm Turkish. <laughs> no. like, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Egyptian? No, I was watching that like Fury thing. Oh, no, and they okay, were talking yeah, they're about like how that. you have like kids. Not young. that young, not that young, but essentially my culture, Turkish culture, they do get married younger and have kids, etc. all of that. But so he's expect me to expect me to do that soon. But I said to him, I'm not in a position to do that because I still need to figure out a few things, get to a financial position to be able to do that. So there'll be no point. Mm. And pursuing to have kids now, it's not the right time. No, same. Time is yeah. everything. Timing is everything. Yeah. 100%. To be fair, guys can have kids a lot later anyway. Yeah. Mm. Like, there's I, no. Um... I've, I reckon I've got another like six, seven years of me. Mm. Yeah. By the time I'm 35, I'd like to have my first kid. 38 for me. I'm <laughs> far off from 35. Yeah. <laughs> By the time I'm 35. No, that's about right. I'd have to have a little People are having kids so much later these cool, days. Bro, I don't mind. Well. Yeah, I think people are enjoying life more now. Do you know what I mean, people are, well, not you, but people are traveling. Um, a hell of a lot more but the people are doing much more with their lives now than they weren't doing previously yeah. so it's just not set up to have a kid yet just before we wrap up yeah I was, the one question I want to ask you, you didn't answer it not because I don't think you swerved it but why don't you like travelling um, yeah I'm just a homebody and that, that's the only reason yeah you're not, you're not scared of flights oh no 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 I'm just like a homebody oh. I like routine I just can't get Fair. around that Close my mind you just want to stay you're on a massive rock in the middle of space you just want to stay in one place yeah I think it is I think that's what keeps me sane though like having a routine Okay. Yeah. Fair. Okay. How did you discover that? That that keeps you sane? Did when you I go on holiday and I start getting homesick. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, fair enough. Fair. You, had, you actually had an answer for everything tonight. Yeah, yeah true. I really. thought it was a good pod. Yeah, yeah. yeah she did. Did yeah. you guys fair. enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed myself. How many pods have you done? Oh, this will be like coming up. I think I've done nearly like six or seven, eight, nine, ten. How does this compare? <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Not really sure. How does this compare to the others? This one's quite nice. It's not like interrogating. I like that it's all men. Um, and also I like that it's just like sometimes they have like multiple guests. Right. So it's quite nice. Mm. Yeah, no, we don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever do that. Yeah, we will with Tyrone. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's a different type of conversation. Though, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me meet him. We've <laughs> <laughs> got our misses. Uh, anyway, we won't talk about no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. Before, listen, uh, before you wrap up, um, yeah. Plug Lily, her. anything you want to plug, yeah. anything you want to say, go for it. You know, subscribe to my only fans. Um, I do suck and f 
on there. So enjoy that. Um, it is Lily Phillip underscore S on my Instagram and Twitter. And then OnlyFans is Lily Daisy Phillips. Do we get a discount? You know what? I don't think you could. I said this earlier. You can't have it much more than four ninety nine. <laughs> that's like that's like three quid in English money. That's pretty mad. Yeah, cheapest chips. Mad honestly, chips. literally cheapest chips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. chips are dearer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, right, Ash, you're gonna have a very hard time editing this pod. Enjoy this pod, though, Ash. I'm sorry, Ash. <laughs> Do apologise, bruv. Um, but listen, guys, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for once again tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next. Peace. 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 <laughs>